What's up, Travis French Hortons? Uh, my name is Mr. Waller, and I'm here to take you through the first half of Cavatina. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and project the music via the music on a stand. I'm gonna take you from square five all the way down to the end of measure 34. So be really careful that uh, you're playing the key signature. We have one flat on B, we are in two four, so make sure you're counting to two if or when you count this out loud. This is a four beat total rest, and you may want to rest longer or shorter according to how, how long Mr. Rishal wants you to rest, but I would just rest for four beats right there. Um, there are some crescendos and decrescendos. There's lots of opportunity for you to be musical with this, so pay very close attention to the dynamics and make sure you're playing the eighth notes on the correct beat. We do have some slurs in here, so just make sure you're, you're slurring where you're supposed to. We do have some random eighth note slurs here, and we have some accidentals in, in, in the form of F sharps to F naturals. So this is the first half of Cavatina. Let me get this straight here. I will be going at 60 beats per minute, which is one beat per second, with a metronome. And let's play our first note together, which is an F. Let's play it for four beats. This is an F, two, ready, and... <laughs> Make sure you get a good first note and you empty your water before every performance so you don't have any awkward popping in the middle of your solo. Okay, so we're going to start square five and stop at the end of measure 34. Here we go. One, two, three, set, three. In about another week, I'll come at you again with a video showing you and playing 27 to the end. And then we'll have a third and final video of playing the entire performance closer to tempo. So I hope you guys are safe and healthy. Um, stay away from those strangers. Don't look any doorknobs. And you guys take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Bye.